We get a lot of questions from businesses about retail sales tax. This short video will cover what is generally subject to sales tax and what is excluded. We'll also tell you where you can get more in-depth information to help you find answers to your specific questions. In the most general terms, retail sales tax applies to sales of tangible personal property and digital products to consumers for their own use. In other words, when your business sells an item, like a wheelbarrow, to a customer who plans to use it at home, this sale is subject to sales tax. Many services are also subject to sales tax. Sometimes it can be trickier to know which of these you must collect sales tax on, so we'll go over some examples. Construction and installation services are subject to retail sales tax. These include, but are not limited to, installing, repairing, cleaning, improving, constructing and decorating real or personal property for consumers, constructing and improving new or existing buildings and structures, clearing land and moving earth, and landscape maintenance and horticultural services, not including farmers. Personal services are also subject to sales tax. These include, but are not limited to, charges for lodging for periods of fewer than 30 consecutive days from hotels, motels, and similar establishments that provide lodging, physical fitness activities, and tanning or tattooing. Recreation services are subject to sales tax. These include, but are not limited to, day trips for sightseeing and amusement and recreational activities like golf, skiing, billiards, and bowling. There are also miscellaneous activities subject to retail sales tax. These include, but are not limited to, sales of extended warranties, renting or leasing tangible personal property, towing and parking automobiles, telephone services, and charges by abstract, title insurance, escrow, and credit bureau businesses, including tenant screening services. We also get a lot of questions about which sales are not subject to sales tax. Some of the most common exclusions include trade-ins against like-kind property, non-prepared food and prescription drugs, fuel that is subject to motor fuel tax, federal government sales, interstate and foreign sales, sales to certain non-residents of Washington, deliveries to tribal members in Indian country, and newspapers. Specific criteria apply to some of these exclusions, so if you think one or more apply to you, make sure you get more information. To learn more, follow the links to specific information on our website. If you can't find the information you want, you can always give us a call.